Hey, tax savers, welcome back. We are outside today. It's beautiful out, so we're going to do some tax tips from the streets. Uh, so today, uh, I want to talk about when you break even on getting money back from Social Security versus paying in more tax than you actually receive. And that break even number is about $45,000 of actual wage. Uh, and that was, that was put out by the Wall Street Journal in an article a few months back. Uh, and the reason why that kind of breaks out where if you make over $45,000 a year, you end up paying more in tax than you get back uh, is because on the first $15,000 of your income, 85% of the tax you pay for Social Security goes into your actual bucket, your actual retirement account. And then 15% of that tax goes into the Uncle Sam fund, the general fund, the welfare programs kind of taking care of everyone else who's not paying it back. Uh, and then when you go above 15,000 to 45,000, that number drops from 85% down to 35%. I know there's a lot of numbers, so bear with me here, uh, but 35% actually goes into your account and then 65% goes into the general fund now. So it drops from almost all of it going into your account to only a third of the tax you pay going into your account. And on the amounts above 45,000, up to the maximum of $127,000, only 15% goes into your account and 85%, so almost all of it's going into the general pot to pay for those who are earning from Social Security. So if you make $100,000 a year, you're paying more in Social Security than you're getting when you retire and, so on, on, and get that monthly benefit. So just something to think about. That's why we use uh, wage planning when you're an owner of an S corporation to lower that so that you're going to benefit, not pay out extra as into your Social Security. So we'll see you next time.